brilliant because it sort of opens the door to everybody. You know, hence you know, the, the term diversity. But it's sort of, it's bringing it to everyone's attention. And people start to talk about it now, which is great. If you get into my top 10, you deserve to win. Do you know whether you're number 10 or you're number one. If you get into my top 10, I know we only get eight. If you get into the top 10, you deserve to win. It is that simple. There is no, you know, like a fag paper between number one and number 10. So I run a business called Trans Catholic Teacher. Uh, I provide LGBT inclusion for UK Catholic schools. And I've been nominated for the award, the Positive Role Model Award for Race, Religion and Faith. Somebody to be so selfless look after, you know, try and develop, get diversity in other places and make sure everybody's on a plane equal level. You know what? I can't put in words, to be honest with you. I work in a church and help lead up the LGBT work at Oasis Waterloo and I've just been shortlisted for it. It's the work that I do within the LGBT community, the faith community and the non-faith community. Jody here. Jody, can you tell us a little bit what, what brings you here today? Uh, yeah, so I'm from an organisation called Endometriosis South Coast and I've been nominated for Inspirational Role Model in the Gender Category. Here we are at National Diversity Awards 2023. I am honoured and ecstatic to be here today. As you can hear in the back, it's already creating a buzz. Everyone is getting ready for this award and I'm honoured and privileged to be here today to hear some of these remarkable stories, what these people have done and achieved in their lives and give them back to people that have got, not got a voice. Not all heroes wear capes. Some of them are just regular people like you and me, but these individuals have done something exclusive, something amazing. And it's about time these people get awarded. And that's why we're here today at National Diversity Awards, it's the 2023. Let's take a look inside. Richard Blackwood. May I say any more? The myth, the legend, Richard. Tell us about this year's 2023 National Diversity Awards. But listen, it's just giving back, right? Do you know what I mean? There's people that need to be recognised. There are people that are here that the masses don't know, but everybody needs to know. Well, it's ours. It's Scouse. We're in the cathedral. And it, I think it sums up everything that Liverpool values, which is community, togetherness, and standing up for what they believe in. These people, to me, deserve more than people on TV getting TV awards. The National Diversity Awards, an annual event that celebrates and honours individuals, organisations and communities for their contributions promoting diversity, inclusion and equality. They aim to highlight and celebrate those who have made a positive impact on diversity, inclusion efforts. 12 years in and we're still holding strong. We're about to award some of these amazing people for their works. Over to our host for the evening, Claire Baldwin. To the man who made all of this possible, turning his dreams into a reality, recognizing underrepresented groups for their fight against injustice and discrimination. The CEO and founder of the National Diversity Awards, Mr. Paul Cisse. I just wanna be part of your Welcome to the 12th National Diversity Awards, the 12th National Diversity Awards. Isn't that amazing? I know I don't look old enough, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. I would like to, personally like to thank all you amazing people for making the National Diversity Awards so special. Here's to diversity, here's to unity, here's to the power of community organisations, and here's to the remarkable role models who light the path forward. Thank you very much, everybody. Have a great night, and we'll see you soon. We're back, back in action. We're in full swing, and the awards is about to start now. All the nominees are gonna be biting their fingernails to see if they've won. No further ado, let's get this show on the road with the National Diversity Awards 2023. Welcome back to the National Diversity Awards 2023 and we celebrate today 12 years of applauding the fearless the selfless and the resilient 
please welcome to the stage two avid supporters of the NDAs, Sandra Byrne and Jonathan Fletcher, and along with them, world boxing champion, a force to be reckoned with, Natasha Jonas. And the winner of the Positive Role Model Award for Age is Kira, Kira McCarthy. McCarthy. So, as you want that, as watching either here or at home, just remember that it is possible to achieve whatever you want to do. And the winner for the Positive Role Model Award for Disability is Nicola Carey Shine. Thank you, thank you. Well done, everyone in this room, because this is truly amazing, so thank you. The winner is, see if you can read that. Sylvia Mack. Yay! Woo thank you so much. This is for all of you people. <laughs> thank you. The winner is... Winner is Dave, Dave Moriton. Moriton. I wasn't expecting this at all. And um, I want to say thank you to everybody that nominated me. And the winner is... Yatundi Adishail. First of all, I have to give thanks to the almighty God uh, for the strength that he gives me to do everything that I do. Lindsay Watterson. Wow. I know everybody's said that this is really unexpected, but this is really unexpected. And the winner is... Get back on stage, Kantar. Thank you, um, and it doesn't stop here for us. We've got so much more to do, uh, but this means a lot to us, so thank you very much. And the winner is... Christine, Christine McGuinness. <laughs> Unfortunately, Christine was unable to make tonight's ceremony, but we will accept this award on her behalf. Have a great night! <laughs> and make some noise for the dazzling MDA! If you could sum up in a few words what you do and how it makes you feel, what would you say? Life changing. You know, really appreciate the fact that we're even here um, to even be nominated. Incredible, like, there are thousands of things I can say, but nothing can really explain how I feel. In the show, I can amazing, just absolutely amazing. For a while. I'm a recognition and celebration of the individual and the organisations. I'd now like to welcome to present the age category, actor and comedian Richard Blackwood and refuge charity ambassador, podcast, podcast host and campaigner, Sharon Gafka. Ladies and gentlemen, Sharon is going to tell you who the winner is. Can I get a drum roll, please? Ready? And the winner is Conscious Youth CIC. Wow. What can I say but thank you to everyone that nominated and voted for us. And the winner is... Steady Chefs Learning Centre. This is me, mate, and team behind me, but it's not these who we need to thank, it's our students. They're the ones who were there for. The winner of the Community Organisation Award for Gender, the Dope Black Women CIC. Congratulations to everyone in the category and everyone in the room because together all the changes that we're doing, no matter how big or small, is creating impact to make a difference in the world. The winner is... Da, 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 da. The Justin Fashion Week Foundation. Woo! Thank you so much, everyone. It means so much to me. Muscle Mars Sports Association. Thank you so much. Um, I have to say, alhamdulillah, first. Praise be to Allah, um, because I really was not expecting this at all. And the award goes to Dum 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 Happy Healthy You. Everyone's intention is just to help people and that's what we're here to do. And just everyone in this room, we feel so inspired. So this individual is remarkable and we are thrilled to honour him tonight. So if you are able to, please be upstanding and give Amin a huge round of applause for tonight's Lifetime Achiever, Dr. Amu Raju OBE. Thank you. 
well done to all the nominees. You guys are all fantastic. I mean, I'm in such great company tonight and um, you inspire me. Every single one of your bios inspire me. So um, it's actually recharged my battery to do a little bit more. So I wish I've got another 30 years in my career left, but I haven't, but I'm gonna try and do whatever I can. So look, thank you very much. Um, it's just such an honor. Thank you very much, thank you. Thank you from the bottom of my heart, from my staff, my sponsors, my family, the judges, everybody involved, the people that do the lighting, the teleprompters, everybody, the celebrities. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you for everything that you do because you are making the world a better place. And I'm just so grateful that I've managed to achieve something that gives back to all you communities. So from the bottom of my heart, thank you. Everyone trying to change, bring diversity and inclusion into the workplace to make basically the workplace a better place to work. It's everything that I stand for. It's everything that I that I work for every day. I work 12 hours a day for it every day. It's to, to have my community visible and recognised and represented. What will this award do for your organisation? Well, I think it, first of all, it'll just inspire the team. I think our team have been working night and day on this, on our project, and it'll just bring a whole new boost to us. It's inspired me when I was reading everybody's bios. There's so much going on in, in across across the UK, which kind of it, it tells you a story of what the, where the UK is going as a journey. If one person tonight calls us for, for help, then it makes it all worthwhile as well. It's such a celebration of uniqueness and diversity, so it's a really lovely place to come to and, and, and celebration as well. It's fantastic for the whole company. It's, it's really, it's great to be recognised and people here have done a great job getting there. The recognition, and I think it tells us that we're doing a good job so far. I think it will steer us towards the future, you know, it will motivate us. For all the young people out there, there's so many opportunities, you just need to reach out. There's organisations like ourselves and many are who are here today. Come and see what we do. Very grateful for you all helping me, trusting me, believing in me. I love all you guys and you know that whenever anything happens to us it happens to all of us and that's this is for you guys so and I love you especially Artie and Dora my little babies. And it's a time of recognition and celebration of the individual and the organisations but more than anything it's a sign of celebrating that we belong and that we are here to make a difference and to be different. This has been remarkable today, honestly. Some of the people and the things they have done literally brought a tear to me. I, I'm, not, I'm not even gonna lie, honestly. Like I always say, not every hero wears a cape. These amazing people tonight, we will admire and celebrate their extraordinary courage, noble qualities and remarkable achievements. National Diversity 2023, I can't wait for 24. Peace, I'm out.